Lucian Greaves, spokesperson for and co-founder of the Satanic Temple. We're at Satanic Temple headquarters in Salem, Massachusetts. Satanic Temple's various events will be put either for live stream or professional production. Uh, people will be able to chat about those in real time as they air. And something that's of interest to outside observers who are tired of just the kind of contrived content they might find on Amazon or Netflix. Our goal in putting together this platform and airing this content is kind of build a sense of community. Confluence of media is the future of online collaboration and communication. I think the, the promise of online communities was kind of usurped by the, the major mega social media platforms and this is kind of a way of taking it back and we do have the benefit of already having a pre-existing large membership to engage in this so we think that will kind of propel this forward and I'm hoping a lot of different communities engage in this in the future and we'll get a more and I think it will lead to a more candid look inside of different subcultures that you're just not going to find in the standard documentary you're not going to find uh, in, in any other kind of on any other kind of social platform, uh, nor will you get that level of communication and collaboration between individuals. The Satanic Space will launch on October 31st. Uh, excuse me, may I ask you what you were dressed as right now? You tell me. Okay. <laughs> yes. They would love to. Oh my god, I already turned like five minutes. It's a panic. Something's in the way. Uh, do you mind if I just record a little interview? Uh, as we're going to use to... Here, I'll give you this in the meantime. Okay. Uh, this, and one of these two would be the ones to ask. Okay. What do you like? I just wanted to record a little interview with you guys. I'm sorry. I just wanted to record a little interview with you guys, if that's okay. Well, who are you with? Who am I with? Yeah. No one? No one? Where are you going to publish it? <laughs> um, nowhere, yeah. I don't really publish anything yet. I just okay. kind of report for myself. Well, we'd be happy to answer questions. Okay. We so, answer um, questions with everybody. Okay, so I've heard about the Satanic Temple, mm -hmm. and um, it's like, are you guys really just atheists who are, you know, doing this counterculture thing, or do you really believe in Satan, or...? Not a literal Satan, a literary Satan. Literary so, Satan. Satan as a symbol for rebellion. We are Satanists, but not all Satanists believe that the devil is real. Okay. In fact, most don't. We're not Church of Satan. We don't expect to do rituals and raise an actual demon, but we do rituals as protest art more. But yeah, we're not... It is a bit counterculture, but no. Okay, yeah, that's what I figured. Like, so you're you're an atheist, you don't believe in anything spiritual or anything like that? You know, I tried really hard, and just the more I learned, the less I believed. Hmm. And so we're all about educating yourself, freedom of thought, freedom of autonomy of your body. You know, you're in charge of you. And according to the church, that's satanic. So if you talk to the Catholic Church, you know, believing in reproductive rights and physical autonomy, no, that's against their belief system. Most of them don't even know what their own belief system, but a bunch of us are very well versed on all sorts of different religions and have tried and looked in a lot of different places and found our way here. But yeah, we are a political activist group, so we are using a label that was applied to us to fight for everybody's rights, particularly separation of church and state. That's a big one with us. So you'll see TST in the news for um, the national TST. So when they try to put up like the Ten Commandments in front of our courthouse, you'll see there are a couple places where we've showed up with the statue of Baphomet. 
and said, well, if you're going to put the Ten Commandments up, then we get to put this up. And our point is, no one should be putting this stuff up. And we're trying to point out the absurdity of putting religious texts and dogma on political, uh, on state funded. I mean, if somebody showed up and tried to put something up that was Muslim, they'd probably lose their minds too. That coloring book? You bet. They're five dollars. They're hilarious. They're from, they're part of our after school right. saving program. So yeah. And, uh, it's been happening. Uh, this um, is you you can feel free to come to one of our open meetings. We have those every other month, where you don't have to be a member to come, and you can talk to a bunch of different members and probably get a bunch of different answers. Because as much as we follow the seven tenets that are on that sign over there, which is what we all try to adhere to as much as possible, um, we're all individuals. Everybody's got their own take on it. All right, thank you. You bet. How's your pie <laughs> Take a stick or two. My buttons keep migrating. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I'm going next weekend to San Francisco. That's adorable. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Oh, you need to put these. This is the English opinion. Did you get one of our pamphlets? Uh, no, I didn't. There you go. That's us in a nutshell. Hi, thanks. Did you bring a Heather? That is scary that anybody would even consider letting Satan into anywhere. New at 6, Satan in our schools. It's a topic going wild on social media nationwide this week. The Satanic Temple is vowing to put an after-school Satan club in elementary schools all over the country. That group is saying that they're not actually worshiping the devil, but promoting freedom of religion, especially in schools with those after-school Christian clubs. 7 News' Addie Hampton found out if these clubs could be headed to the upstate. With its foreboding music and eerie images, this is the video Satanic Temple says it's using to advertise its brand new after school Satan Club. It's a nationwide initiative in religious freedom, they say, that will give elementary age children a contrasting voice to other Christian after school programs at their school. They say they will promote focused rationalism, free inquiry, and fun. Greenville mother Jennifer Fidelke says it sounds like pure evil. Satan kind of sounds like devil worshiping. Um, I don't want my kids to be involved with that. She says her kids go to a school with a good news club program after the school day ends. This is the primary Christian club after school Satan is trying to counter according to their website. I know there's the freedom of speech, religion and everything, but I, I just I don't agree with that. While After School Satan isn't present in Greenville yet, the organization is vowing to put the club in every elementary school where a good news club operates. More than 120 clubs meet in 100 schools across the upstate, according to the Child Evangelism Fellowship Ministry. Today, I reached out to Ministry Vice President Moses Estevez. And we're not going to be scared away by these atheists um, dressed with uh, scary costumes. He says these groups aren't actually worshiping the devil, just secularists trying to silence Christians and scare parents. He says while the group may come in, all after-school programs must have a signed parental permission. He doesn't see much traction with after-school Satan. Let them send their permission slips home, and we will see how many kids will come. In Greenville, Addie Hampton, 7 News. We contacted the Greenville County School District. The district said it had not received a request from the Satanic Temple to come to any of the district's elementary schools, but it would be up to the school principal to see if there is time and space to operate any club. A father saying tonight he does not want it at his daughter's school. The topic, an after-school Satan club. Yeah, a group in Tucson wants to open up that club at a public elementary school. And we sent ABC 15's John Erickson to Tucson for this story tonight. And John, the Satanists are saying they're only asking for fairness.
There's an after school club here at Ross Rouge Elementary in Tucson called the Good News Club. It is Bible based. Now, the Satanists say they want a club too. There's a playground, there's basketball on campus at Ross Rouge Elementary in Tucson. And if Satanists have their way, there'll be an after school Satan club too. Well, that's the first thing I think is evil. Conrad Duarte has a seventh grade daughter at the school. Uh, it just doesn't sound good to me in, in a school setting. Amy Jensen would teach the club. Well, I picture it sort of more like Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts. Jensen's resume ticks off a master's in education, spent time teaching in Denver. It is not where we sit down and we talk about Satan and we talk about religion and we talk about all of those things. Actually, those are thrown to the wayside and they're based in science um, and more of cultural awareness and other people's beliefs and I think that's really important. Stu DeHaan and the Satanic Temple asked Phoenix and Scottsdale to let them say the invocation at city council meetings. Hail Satan. They were denied. Now, this request. We're not here to get special privileges. We're here to get equal privileges. He says the club would be kid friendly. Because we're not actually talking about Satan and Satanism because we have no interest in converting. It's just that in our religion, science and reason is what is the most valued rather than superstition and supernatural. And school starts in just a few days here. So far, the Satanists won't be allowed to have the club because they don't have a staff member to sponsor it. But Satanist Stu, as he's known on my phone at least, says it's not over yet. Yeah, Janelle, as you know, I covered the Satanic Temple in Springfield a few months ago and how their membership is growing in the Ozarks. Now the group is hoping to start a club at a local elementary school. Watkins Elementary is one Springfield school that hosts what is called the Good News Club, which is Bible-based. And the Satanic Temple is asking for fairness in representation by introducing a new club called After School Satan. Our goal and our only goal is to see that children have the ability to lead themselves to their own conclusions. They say if the Good News Club is allowed to meet after hours, then they should be able to as well. Can't have one without the other, really. You know, both, both sides of every coin should always be presented, especially when we're talking about young, impressionable minds. The Satanic Temple says that the club is meant to broaden the mindset of students through critical thinking skills. Simply to help kids discover how to take the facts that they have learned in school and then apply them, you know, in an active and logical capacity to teach them how to ask questions, analyze the answers critically and in real time. The district has released a statement saying that it is considering the request. However, it really depends on school board policies. What would you think if the Satanic Temple was hosting an after-school program? Well, it may be happening at a school near you in the very near future. According to the After School Satan website, the club will emphasize science, rational thinking, and non-superstitious worldviews. The organization wants to open clubs in elementary schools around the country and right here in the Houston area later this year. They say it's only fair since various evangelical Christian groups like the Good News Club get to promote their faith to students students in after school programs. Now this is legal according to a 2001 Supreme Court ruling, but the moral dilemma has many questioning if it should be allowed. That's our topic for this half hour and we want to hear from you on Facebook and Twitter using the hashtag Fox 26 Houston for life. Joining us live in the newsroom this morning is Republican strategist and public policy analyst Jackie Bally and former Harris County Democratic Party chair Jerry Bernberg. Thank you so much for being here. So what do you think about this? Oh, this is so troubling. I, you know, as a mom who has two young young men, uh, if I were to hear something like this, if one of my sons were to come home and say, hey mom, uh, just to let you know, they're starting a satanic club at school, can I sign up? I would be very troubled by this. Uh, also during my days as, as a professor at U of H, I know there were certain things that we could or could not say, certain things that administrators could or could not do, uh, evolving uh, around Christianity. So I do find it troubling that this is actually legal, at least according to a 
2001 Supreme Court ruling. And also, you notice that the people behind this, they're saying this is in retaliation to some clubs that are allowing Christianity or the teaching of Christianity at certain schools. So this is their way to retaliate from something like that. Jerry, I'm glad you're here with us this morning. Thank you, because we all wonder about the actual legal ramifications of something like this. Well, first of all, it's got nothing to do with retaliation, with all due respect, Jackie. What it has to do, it's also got nothing to do with uh, Satan and nothing to do with Temple. That's what uh, they're saying. They, yeah. they, they are saying When that. you go visit their website, you'll see that it's it's almost like the joke's on us. The, the uh, sa uh, Satanic Temple in fact does not believe in Satan and they don't believe in temples, churches, and other religious institutions. It is a separation of church and state organization which is uh, designed to inculcate in folks not a belief in Satan or, or anything of the sort, but a, le a belief that you should base your belief system on facts and science and not superstition and those sorts of things. Now, you ask about the, the legal implications yes, of it. Yes, that's really in what point, that's Yeah, In point of fact, here's, here's what the answer to that is. The uh, schools cannot discriminate between various kinds of organizations. Um, in connection with whether they can use school property. And that's all we're talking about here, whether an after uh, hours school property can be available. And the notion is, the Supreme Court said, look, if you make school properties available for the debate club and the drama club and any other non-religious organization, you have to make it available for religious organizations as well. And it's not just since 2001, but long before then that it's been understood if you're going to make it available to religious organizations, you can't distinguish between for example, only well, me, Christians and not Jews. Let me ask you this, because they're saying that it's going to be up to the principals and the administrators if yeah. actu actually how they're going to apply these programs and if they're going to actually allow it. I guarantee you, if parents get a wind uh, hold about this, they, they hear about this, their reaction is going to be very comparable and similar to mine. I know you gave an explanation that is not what we think it's teaching, but uh, a lot of people are going to have that assessment. Now, if they, the principals do decide that they are not going to do that, what are the legal ramifications of that act? They cannot base that decision upon the content. In other words, a uh, principal couldn't say, as I said, for example, well, we'll allow uh, Christian organizations to use our facilities, but we won't allow Buddhists to. But they can limit the number of people. Uh, if you don't have at least 15 people in okay. your club, you can't use our, our facilities. And, Rashi, I'm, so, I'm sure they're getting a lot of hits on social media about this one. Yeah, definitely people are talking about this. A lot of them had the reaction you did, Jackie, uh, this one is a little different though. Satanic Temple protects children from abuse in school. And this is one of the billboards here. Never be hit in school again. Exercise your religious rights. So that's one of the billboards out there. Not here in Houston though, but this was a picture that was taken. Also want to share this with you here. Uh, we have if you're mad about this, then you should be mad about Bible clubs, too. And, Jerry, I was just going to ask you that with Bible clubs and all of these other religious organizations that are in school, are the principals and everyone, are they the ones that determine that in schools as well? They get to determine what clubs and organizations get to use the facilities so long as it's not based upon the content or the message. So uh, the uh, principals can say you have to have 15 uh, members in order to do it, as an example. But here's the point. It is correct. The principal can say, Satanic Temple, you all may not have after-school programs. But to do that, he's also or she's also got to say, and neither can the Good News Club. In other words, if you want to get rid of everybody, the principal can do that. But once you open those doors after hours, then you cannot discriminate based upon the content of the message. Well, I guarantee you this one, if a school decides to put a satanic club as an after hours program, uh, there will be a long line for many parents, many, many students. There will be some students who object to it and it will cause a lot of issues for that school, for the administrators and everyone else involved. Thank you, Rashi. Against the new after school Satan club that was recently approved there by the Park Row School District. Tim Becker is outside the school. He joins us live with more. Tim.
I want to give you a look at the gathering here over my shoulder. The bagpipes have just started playing once again. This is all happening because the newly formed After School Satan Club is holding an open house to tell parents about their new program today. It just happens to be on the same day that another religious group, the Good News Club, is holding its open house. The Satanic Temple says it's providing the uh, After School Club because uh, the Good News Club, an evangelical Bible study group, has actually been around now for several years. The co-founder of the Satanic Temple tells me that if the evangelical group was here, they wouldn't be here either. We feel that evangelical clubs coming in and proselytizing the children, trying to get other children to convert to uh, their fundamentalist way of thinking creates a need for us to be here with something that presents uh, scientific rationalism and uh, in, uh, uh, by being put forward by a different religious group. They want to balance with Satan? Well, we think people are very much, and we know they are, very much uh, afraid of Satan and Satanism, what it represents, regardless of the comical little drawings they make of it, what Satanism is. So we're here to support them in that and keep, keep Satan out of our schools. Well, backers of both groups are here right now. People supporting the Bible group, as you see live, spending time here singing, praying, and now they're taking a slow walk. Looks like they'll probably go around the block. The Satanic Temple members, meantime, saying their after-school program does not contain any items of religious opinion. Uh, in case you're wondering, students do need a note from parents to attend either after-school club. Live in Northeast Portland, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News. Quite the debate. Thanks, Tim.